So we today we're going to go over a recap of the the uh, justive subjunctive and which is one of the usages of the subjunctive. Um, the subjunctive is a broad topic in Latin. Um, there are four tenses of it and um, in many different ways it's used. So we've learned the present subjunctive and the first usage of it uh, is limited to only the present tense. So that's why we're learning this one first. Uh, there's all these other usages which we're going to uh, encounter, different types of sentences and ways that the subjunctive is used. Okay, the justive is when the main verb of a sentence is in the present subjunctive, and it translates as let. If you satisfy those things, you get a let translation. The main verb is, well, it's when it's the only verb in the sentence, and when it's not in the clause, in a clause. So this example sentence, I love Latin, which can be difficult. I love Latin is the main part of the sentence. Love would be the main verb. This is called a clause. It's not necessary. It just adds extra information. Um... Examples. All right, we went over some examples yesterday, <clears throat> but let's jump into the assignment. All right, tachyamas. So I can tell it's present subjunctive because this is an ERE verb. And remember, if you know the phrase, we fear a liar, you can remember the vowels that you use in the present subjunctive. So um, E, you would use in the first conjugation, EA in the second, A in the third, and IA in the fourth or third I.O. All right, so this verb, which is new, is second conjugation. So that's why an E.A. is used. So let M.U.S. is we, but you don't say let we, um, you say let us. Be silent. Let us be silent. All right, I'm not going to type the rest of these. But uh, all right, so this is the I ending and this is the word for it in Latin. So let me have it. Let me have it. Pronouns are always tough. Um, we haven't reviewed them yet, but let me have it. All right. Um, these words are accusative, so we don't want to start here. So let's go to our verb. It has M-U-S, just like number one. So let us, right? This is the verb to call. And if you remember, it's an A-R-E verb, so it's first conjugation. So it has the E, which makes it present subjunctive. So let us call your sister. Let us call your sister. All right, the first word in this one is accusative, so we don't want to start here. This is could be a couple things. Let's look at our verb. All right, dedico is new in this chapter. It's an A-R-E verb, so we're in the present subjunctive. Let us dedicate. And there's no, it's no coincidence that we've used the M-U-S here. That's just, we say let us a lot in English. So let us dedicate the stars, and then this could be dative plural, which it probably is, uh, to the dead soldiers. Let us dedicate the stars to the dead soldiers. All right, this one's a little tricky. This is the first time using the passive. <clears throat> Nay makes a justive negative, so let, let that man, we're going to start with that because that's a nominative case form, uh, let that man not be silenced. All right. It's the verb to be silent, but if it's passive, you're being silenced. Uh, really tricky to get that. Let that man not be silenced. Okay. It's got to be happening to him. Let that man not be silenced. All right. Going into Latin, a little tricky. Let us go. So right here you have, you know, it's a third conjugation verb. So we look up here and we want to use an A to connect. All right. So First principal part stem, A, and then the us ending is the we, K Damas. All right, let them see our weapons. We know the verb to see is second conjugation, so we're going to do an EA, and then them is going to correspond to our they. Whoops. NT. Let them see, and then our weapons, um, it's going to be the direct object here, so Arma, and then Nostra is just going to match up with that. All right, accusative, um, second declension neuter. All right, let the evening be filled with happiness. So evening here, new vocab word, it's our subject technically. So we're not going to do anything to it. We're just going to do a Vesper. Be filled. All right, so the verb to fill, that's a new one. Let's go over here. 
and verb to fill. We know it's second conjugation. All right, it's got the E with the long mark. So X, EA, we're going to do an EA. Um, and the evening is being filled, so it's passive. All right, and evening is going to be the he, she, it, so ter. Let the evening be filled with happiness. Um, you probably want the coom here. Uh, that's, but if you just did the word in the ablative, that's fine too. Um, for the sake of time, I'm not going to insert, but it should have the long mark, the ablative long mark. Um, I, I'm fine if you have the coom or you don't. All right, um, but you should have the A with the long mark regardless. Okay, let me show you a better world. So let me show, that's our verb, um, the verb to show. I wanted you to use this new one. All right, it's an A-R-E verb. It's first conjugation. So pri, there's your stem, eval, and then the I ending on the verb. Let me show you a better world. Now this part gets a little tricky. All right, so let's do world first. It's the direct object. All right, so mundum. And then the word for better is melior. And anytime you have a comparative form, it's a third declension adjective. So em is going to be the third declension accusative to agree with that. Uh, let me show you a better word, a better world. So you're, it's technically to you. And everyone's favorite chart, tu tui tibi tete. So you want the dative on that, which is tibi. Let me show a better world to you. Okay, really, really tricky there. All right, let us live and let us love. This is actually a famous um, line from Latin poetry uh, by a poet named Catullus. Catullus also gives us um, some of the most obscene language. He either has like a really loving poems or really hateful poems. He's all over the place. We're going to learn about Catullus in a little bit. But uh, let us live. So. We know right here it's third conjugation, so we want an A and then an MUS. And let us love. And of course, you know the verb to love is first conjugation, so we're going to do an E and then the, and that. All right, um, that concludes that. Uh, obviously, going into Latin is a little bit more difficult. Okay, all right. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit subscribe and walite.